I was way too invested in trying to do the job right and carrying stuff to the point that I have never forgiven myself. And I think they have forgiven me where I shouldn't have. Married to baseball for nearly his entire life, Tony La Russa has tied the knot twice off the field. He had two daughters with his first wife, but relationships with the three are non-existent. In 1973, he married his longtime current wife, Elaine, and had two more daughters, although admits the game often came before family. 1992, your Oakland days that you're managing are playing the Toronto Blue Jays American League Championship Series. You mistakenly leave your daughters, uh, young girls. Um, what happened? I mean, I don't want to explain it in a way that I'm making an excuse because there's no excuse for it. So I'm saying that right ahead. It's a mistake that's unexplainable, inexcusable, screwed up. But, I mean, I got really into what the score was. And if there was something when the game was over that we got beat, that I felt that I had contributed to the loss by missing a trick or doing something that was wrong. And that night, you know, I, I was just, I messed up, whatever. I can't remember what I was, but I was just beating myself so much. You know, I get in the car, I, I drive home, and I'm about halfway there, I went, forgot something. <laughs> <laughs> Where back, were they? Back in the back of the ballpark. Well, probably the first, I'd say, seven, eight years of my career. I mean, I was, I was way too invested in trying to do the job right and carrying stuff to the point that I have never forgiven myself. And I think they have forgiven me where I shouldn't have. I mean, I'd be home and just thinking about it and thinking about it. And, and, if there's a lesson to learn there, you know, once you do the best you can, you got to turn the page. They're the priority. You know, this is the personal time. You know, put it away, stupid, and then I quit being so stupid. Well, it, how, how do you think back then it impacted the relationship with the daughters? Well, unfortunately, they probably got used to it, and they, you know, then they expected less and and uh, took it for what maybe that's the way it's supposed to be, including Elaine. You know, and and. Uh, Try to make up for it ever since. What, um, your wife was telling me, and I don't know if it's just they do it as a joke now, but um, that on Father's Day they will, yeah. uh, your daughters will send a card to your wife Elaine. Sure. Why? Elaine did it by herself basically for thirty some years, and uh, I would, you know, I would, I, I could totally understand them thinking she was mother and father. You know, I think they were making a point of saying, we know how, how special you are. If you look at the number of hours that you have with that family, it's not very many. So you ought to maximize every minute of it, not do what I did, which was have half my brain there and the other half. I mean, Elaine would know. She's like, well, I know what you're thinking, but you're thinking about your lineup or something because she could just see me glazed or something. And that, I say, that went on for... You know, seven, eight, nine years, just bad. Why do you think she tolerated it? I don't know, probably, you know, I mean, we did get married. I think she did love me and she knew I was doing something that, uh, you know, that I loved and looked like maybe, you know, we would have a, a, a good life. How would you best explain the sacrifice that she made? Uh, probably impossible for people to understand unless they Take the time to think about 30 plus seasons, starting in spring training, by the way. So it's like about eight months, depending if you play in October, where virtually every day it's you and your two girls with, with an occasional visitor who's your husband. So I regret that. And there was a couple, I mean, there's one in the book where she was sick, she had pneumonia, and the team was struggling and like an idiot. You know, my sister at that time lived in, you know, was living in Tampa and she came over and took care of her with two kids. I mean, what, what, what kind of message is that? What's more important, Chicago White Sox or your wife and children? You bring up to her what you'd said to me about how, you know, she could have called you any time and uh, said, enough's enough, come home, and that would have been it. What do you think she said when I brought at that At that point, up? she probably said, she, 
you know, I, I think they enjoy not having me around. Is that's probably the answer. Well, she goes, oh, bull, there's no way. What, that I would have left? Yeah. Oh, no, she's wrong. Um, no. uh, if they had said go, I'd have gone. Yeah. Um, I, but she also said, um, how many people in their lives are actually given the opportunity to live their dream? How could I possibly deprive them of that? Well, I, I, I know that that's true. She's expressed that, and uh, that's why, I, you know, I'll owe her forever. 